welcome back to the garden for 2022. Should we show you around? There's not a lot to see at the minute. Waiting for things to bloom. <laughs> but I have had a play with the pots. They've been moved around a bit. So we've got some new things in the garden, thanks to Hubby. So I had these crowns for Christmas, and I had these for our wedding anniversary. There's two of them. You'll see another one further round. But they're rusty. They are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know, I can't remember what's in here. I think this is dahlias, and I think that's a dahlia, and I think these are calla lilies. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. And surprise, surprise, these have been out all winter. So the geraniums stayed alive. And I think this is violas. And I think this might be petunias. So that's done really, really well. It's quite impressive. Yeah. They don't have many big frosts though, so. No. I guess it's not killed them off. Yeah. This was our um, daffodils. They've gone over now. But we've got signs of hostas coming through already. And again, these were the bright red geraniums from last year that were in this area. <laughs> and they're still alive. <laughs> Tulips. I've realised tulips only seem to last for one season. The ones I had last year didn't come back, so I don't know. I think that's another dahlia I've put in there. I think these are going to be double tulips from the size of the buds. They're quite big. The yeah, ace is looking a little poorly though. Well, no, it's coming back. If you get close, it is coming back. They do lose all their leaves. This is a new addition because I, I don't think we've got enough greenery in the garden. Evergreen greenery. Mm. No ball. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to put it on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something's just caught Ted's attention. The balls have been clipped. This is a lily I was bought for my birthday. So lily bulbs in the pot so I'm thinking I might put them there. We've lost some of the lupins from here, the one at the far end and this one haven't come back and the lavender in the middle, I don't know what's wrong with that but that's not very good either so I've chopped it right back and see what happens. I think we need some careful consideration what we put in there because yeah. nothing's done that well in those. No it hasn't, well it doesn't get, it only gets a tiny bit of sun at this time of the day. Mm, maybe it drains too well. Um, oh, they're not alliums. What are they? The big purple flowers. Just here, looks coming through. I can't remember what it's called. It'll come back to you. It'll come back to me. Yeah. These. I don't. We don't know what they are. Adrian thinks that they're daylilies, but they're in the way of the uh, black-leafed plant that I love. Look at the clematis though, it's full of buds. Do you remember this? It was new last year and it was the double clematis. Double flowers. Mm, should be good show. Yeah, so it's really grown this year. Watch after that. We've got some room for planting again this year. A little bit, yeah, a little bit. There is something in there, the chocolate cosmos. And there's a dahlia in there and in there, so there's not actually that much room. In your obelobolis. In the obelobolis, yeah. <laughs> in the jasmine, we chopped that right down, didn't we? Not heucheras, these are heucheras. What are they? Can't remember. Peonies? No, we haven't got any peonies. <laughs> I don't know. You're I better at plants. Remember. You're better at plants. It'll come though. back to me. Yeah. Rose bush is doing all right. Well, everything seems to be doing all right, apart from the one heuchera up there that got drowned a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. This he... area here was flooded, absolutely flooded, for about two weeks, would you say? You can probably see it's very, it's very wet still. Yeah. It's 
very, and very wet. Are there, I don't think it's going to make it. Uh, this side of the garden never drains. I put drainage in the, yeah. the middle of the garden, but it just doesn't seem to drain this area here. No. Mm. But there's a, I'm sure there's a hosta under there and just there. Can't see any signs. Well, the unruly bush is doing well. Yeah. Hucara in there as well. No, not Hucara, mm -hmm. hosta, but that's not showing signs either yet. And something we didn't have last year, one of my videos, <laughs> new shed. Yeah. So, yeah, nice new shed. Repaired the fence, put a new shed up, so yeah, yeah. should last a bit longer. Yeah, azalea that Stacey bought us. Yeah, it's in bud. So that shouldn't be long. Very wet underfoot again. <laughs> it is. Yeah, I can't do my scarifying yet. Everything in this bed seems to be doing really well. You dug this over for me, didn't you? I did, yeah. This, this yeah. does keep quite dry. Um, yeah. There's a lot of well, there's a great big conifer there and there's loads of trees around here, yeah. so it does tend to dry it out. We've got new growth on the olive tree. In look. the dead olive tree. In the dead olive tree, <laughs> yeah. You can see the bend in the eucalyptus now, look at that. Yeah. We really need to try and sort that out because it's completely flipped I, over here. I did pin it, but it just seems to want to follow the sun. I think we might have to chop it. Mm, maybe. Yeah. And the monkey puzzle. It's, Your monkey puzzle's growing. It's going out, but it's not going up very much. Well, it has gone up, because if you remember, it was tiny mm. when I bought it. But it's, it's uh, mega expensive. Yeah. Yeah, these have come back. I'm not going to even try to remember plant names, because my brain's all fuddled and mm. it doesn't, and doesn't the bamboo. work. bamboo. I mean, the bamboo they were gorgeous. tiny little sprigs yeah. when we put them in, but yep, yeah, there's some money's worth there now. Yeah, there is. Yeah, can you remember what these are? Oh God, no. <laughs> they bloom in the uh, Mediterranean, don't they? In the middle of the roads and everywhere. Oleanders. So they're doing well. I'm worse at plant names than you are. Yeah. <laughs> There's a hosta. Look at that coming through. Yeah. It's hiding away down there. Yeah, and I think there's another one over here somewhere, but I can't and see some that Some more yet. geraniums that made it. Yeah. Yeah. Blossoms on the peach tree. As well, we've only ever had one peach on it ever, <laughs> and we've had it what three years now. You've hacked some of the hive, I, ivy down, <laughs> some of the ivy. Well, it was hanging over by about two feet, and it's only supposed to be one leaf deep. So I decided to attack it this morning. What a bloody lot of lot of Yes, yeah, there's a um, arum lily under there, and that will need support, but that may not be big enough. That looks like laurel. That is laurel. Hey, I've got yeah. one right. And there's another little bamboo here that I moved. Here's a little tip with laurel. If you've ever got a big bush and you chop it down, don't put it in your car and close all the windows because it produces cyanide. It does. <laughs> Where did we find that from? It was a fiddle. There was, there was, no, there was somebody on the internet What uh, oh. he went to the tip with a car full of cuttings. That's right. And he passed out and crashed yeah. his car because it right. actually gives us cyanide. It did. So, yeah, be careful, people. Absolutely. The gardens can kill you. Yeah. I've got irises coming through, look. Mm -hmm. They were planted last year. It's another thing we have as well, digitalis. I can kill you as well, well. can't it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that is. This has finally done something. Look, it's grown fronds and changed colour, so I'm quite pleased with that. I've been moaning about it for two years because it hasn't done anything. <laughs> so it has this time. Now, I was going to chuck this. I was going to pull it out and throw it away. It's a hebe, but it's gone really, really woody. Back part of it had died, and I've chopped that off and supported it because it was flopping on the floor. But it looks as if it's going to have buds. Ted, are you going to be sick? That's nice. There you go. Now, oh. this oleander, it looks as if it's got a bit that's dead. Here, look. Nothing growing on it at all. Oh. Mm -hmm. Apart, from, Apart from just there that I just noticed. One leaf that's growing from it. I was going to say I'll cut it down from the bottom, but maybe I won't and I'll see what happens. These are your daisies. Yeah. Painted on the love of all I'll ask. <laughs> yeah, I've got a penstemon in there. That's mm -hmm. why that's there, because they do flop over. And the sun. And the sun, yeah. So we've got a new rose there. Oh, it looks as though the um, yuccas are coming back. Look, can you see? Oh, the yucca that I dug up. You tried to dig up. Yeah. 
it's almost and impossible got, to get hold, uh, rid of. <laughs> and we've got a new clematis there because this one died that yes. was growing through the tree. So I bought a new one and put there. And I hacked that back last year. You hacked it down. Yeah, but right. look at it now, it's all these branches. It's actually bushing out from the branches rather than yeah. trying to go upwards, which is nice because it was getting too big. But it's, yeah. it's gone crazy again. It, it grows is. so quick. When we moved in, it was a tiny was little a twig. twig. Yeah, yeah. And, now, and now it's a massive tree and take it over. <laughs> yeah. So, a few more bits here. Oh, I can't remember what they're called. That's the Chinese from there you go. Mm -hmm. Orange blossom plant. Isn't it? Mexican blossom, Mexican isn't it? Blossom, Mexican blossom, yeah, Mexican orange blossom, something like that. Yeah. I can't remember what that is. I love a ball, and these light up at night. They do, don't they? Very pretty. Yeah, very pretty. So there's something new in there, but I can't remember what it's called. I should have kept the label. But with all the rain we've had, they've just spotted. Oh, Robin. Bird's back. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad bought a few new loopings called Salmon Sun. And they're really pretty colours. And he gave me one, so we'll see what that does this, this year. Hmm. And again, Which these nice. this board is not brilliant. It's doing no. okay, but it's not brilliant. No, this is a GM that I put in, and that's going to be orange, I think. But we don't know what that is, do we? Well, even though it looks like a nettle, but it isn't. No, we did wonder if it was like... lemon balm or something, but it doesn't smell of lemon. No. That's a hebe, but it's never flowered since it's been put there. No. Well, my dad gave me that as well. That's a flamenco tree, isn't it? But that half of it died because it was a round one. Mm -hmm. Standard. Yeah, standard, yeah. And those twigs and those two pots just there are off dabs. Oh, one of them, but I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> it's really bad, isn't it? Good garden update, this. Yeah, really good garden update. Mm. I do apologise, but... Yeah. And the lemon tree's come out to get some sun. And the lemon tree has come out for some warmth and some sunshine. Yeah, it's in growth. It is growing. Oh, you've got flies there now. And the butterflies there, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll put the sun there and the moon and the stars there. All right. There you go. And then, and then the last... Yeah. I've got another geranium. The remnants of last year. Yeah. Oh, there's actually some growth here now, look. So I wonder if they're um, violas. I don't know. And then back to where we started. Exactly. So, yeah, rubbish bag waiting to go in the bin. Yeah. There you go. So what, it's towards the end of March now, isn't it? Yep. So we've just got to wait now for everything to break into life. Mm, and as long as that thing up there keeps up, <laughs> yeah. we might actually get some good gardening out this yeah. year. Yeah, fingers crossed. There you go. So there we are, that's how we're looking today. Yeah. <laughs> so enjoy your gardens. We'll see you soon. Bye. So I've got the oleanders that are from the Mediterranean. What's the other one called? Can't you remember? I'm sure it begins with H. Hibiscus. There you go. Hibiscus, yeah. Hibiscus. <laughs> Hibiscus twigs. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Say hello. Say hello. Speak. Speak. Well trained dog. <laughs>